Right, this is the uh, Focuser um, Easy Driver with a uh, Keys Rotary encoder here. We have 12 volts uh, on and off, 12 volt input, a temperature probe. Um, we'll replace this with an RJ11 connector. This is the um, uh, circuitry for normal and program operation in and out LEDs LCD display 1602 a 12 volt power LED uh, we have here a USB connection and a uh, RS232 connection to a stepper motor so let's turn it on and uh, this is running the latest version currently the focuser is at 3992 uh, we're using eighth of a step. Uh, the reverse direction's off. The power is on. One indicates how many steps um, when I turn the rotary encoder. So if I do this. You can see that this immediately updates. Uh, the LEDs indicate which way we're turning. I don't know whether you can see this turn. All right. So if I hold the uh, switch down. I get two beeps, this is now increment by 10. So each uh, pulse goes by 10. So I can wind it like this. should be able to see this mode of turning. See it's winding up its way. Every turn now should be a hundred. You can see that this is buzzing around. So if I one turn goes down by a hundred, one turn other way goes up by a hundred. So you hold it down briefly, goes back to one. So now I've got fine control over it. And the great thing is I can use this with the um, uh, my focus uh, Windows application, and um, like I can do this with the My Focus uh, Windows application um, connected, and then I can just click like the plus button, plus ten button on the uh, My My Focus application. And what it does is it actually reads the current value first, adds ten to it, and then uh, sends it back. So it works well with the rotary encoder as well. It doesn't sort of use what it thinks it should be, it actually reads what it is so it doesn't get confused. So you can see that the uh, system is working quite well and to reset it we just hold it sort of down like five seconds or thereabouts should get four beeps and should reset it basically to zero and we shouldn't be able to go below zero no we can't, but we can go above zero and we hold it down for like uh, three odd seconds um, gets to three then it increments by a hundred at a time you can see it buzzing up so it'll wind all, it's, you know, wind all the way up to uh, 3935 so this is controlling a NEMA 17 stepper motor um, at, uh, at uh, one eighth of a step using an easy driver board um, didn't cost very much to put this together and um, works extremely well